Welcome back, Random Battles 27. We are now in the two... Uh, what? <laughs> I thought we were in the 2000s, I seem to have decayed in one day, I guess. Um, nonetheless, we are about 2000. We got a sticky web team immediately, looking pretty strong. Um, Torterra could be a little bit of an issue here off the start. But I mean, I think with Sazbuck and... We have things that can tank it. So we'll probably get taken out after we get our webs up. Or they'll, they'll actually immediately go for it. I don't think Rock Blast would kill unless it, like, five hits maybe. Um, either way, we also have T-Spikes. I'm just going to go for that too. So, uh, yeah, now if they hit, they definitely take us out. We'll just go for a Circle Throw. Rock Blast is actually not doing that much damage. And only four hits. Wow. Spied Ops, level 96. Doing work. Um, they do have Surviper, so no T-Spike. But that is Torterra's White Herb gone. So already great. Oh, we're actually faster. I did not even realize. I don't want to go in Torterra yet, because I want that to be nice and healthy for nice setup. We can go into Malamar here. It actually goes for a Trailblaze, which is interesting. I wonder, so they're probably wanting to gunk shot. Yeah, I mean, we just take the Psycho Cut. And we aren't worried about this thing sweeping us. This might be a good time to sack Spide Ops, I think, and then go something faster. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, so they get their SD. But uh, we can immediately just come in and deny that. Go for a double edge, because we don't want to miss. Okay, they have Giratina, who's a pretty hard counter to Sazbuck, all things considered. Mm hmm. I think we go Grim Snarl here. Okay, wants the parting shot. No, sir. Or, sorry, wants the Dragon Tail. No, sir. I don't think there's any way it stays in here. I'm going to parting shot. Okay, it stays in here. <laughs> I can go Malamar here because now I'm expecting the Wisp. I actually defy <laughs> made me evasive. Okay. We'll just get a knock on it. Knock off in. Yeah, gear team pretty annoying. But giving me the evasion boost could lead to some foolishness happening. Yeah, it says in the chat that's exactly what I was trying not to do. But uh, yeah, let's see if Malamar can pull off some nasty dodging stuff. See, unfortunately we do lose that web. We definitely need to chip down this Giratina to win with things like Torterra, Fluttermane. Okay, so Viper comes in, just barely lives. And we don't really have a switch in. I think I had a superpower here. And now we just have to hope we can dodge something. Because, yeah, also Mr. No Switch ins. I don't think I get a better chance to rest. Seemed pretty hard to deal with, honestly. Mm hmm. Maybe I go on Go here. We can turn. We can at least get some work done with Spirit Break, I think, here. Maybe give Torterra an opportunity to come in. Bug Bus is gonna do a lot. We can at least turn that into a. a lot weaker of a move. Do we parting out to Fluttermane now, I think? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Floodman with the double bug resist. We get some damage on Yomega, make it super weak with after parting shot. Or if they want to switch out here, we have the initiative. 
And Gripstar is still healthy enough to take on Giratina, kind of. Let's see how they react here. Okay, they go into Mc oh, Magirna. Jeez. Maybe what I want to do here is go to Sawsbuck. Sword stands up, hit Giratina. It'll hit me out. But that at least weakens it for later. Because I don't think they want to stay Magirna on the Sawsbuck. Right. They go out. We give this guy a horn leech just to get some damage off. Not threatening like a kind of anything, honestly, just not poltergeist. They go for poltergeist. That's crazy. And we get crit, which sucks. Uh just gonna go for the sucker punch here. Hopefully they attack me. The one thing we can't do is give Magirna anything. Okay, yeah, Magirna goes or Giratina's down to basically nothing. Yeah, we just Sucker Punch again. They get, go Magirna. I wonder maybe the best play is to Taunt here. In case... Well, mm hmm. Now, I'm, I'm parting shot out to uh, Sawsbuck here. They go for Spikes. That's fine. This is uh, a sword stance here. Saucebook looking really strong all of a sudden. Yon Mega can't deal with us. Magirna can't really deal with us either. Because now we just high horsepower. Okay, Yon Mega comes out. We do have to take a lot of damage to get off this double edge actually but even then Torterra just needs to get off one hit or yeah so Sawsbuck's still alive Torterra just needs to get off one and more Pico would be a good option to do that against so yeah we'll, we'll allow him to take us out um does more Pico do enough damage if it's banded, that's an issue. But if it's banded, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, I think we just go for it now. Often, see if he's banded, I actually don't care because any his next aura wheel won't be as good. I think Torchera wins here. Okay, he goes for another aura wheel. I think we're good here. I'll just send the headlong. Oh no, we are we do go down to knock off. So more Pico actually just too strong. Yeah, and there's nothing Grimstar could do. I think I think we had I guess just lost at that point. Torchair going down to more Pico in two hits is so sad. Yeah, and then um, nothing we can really do here. So, GG, we do go down. Ah, that was a very back and forth sort of game. I feel like there were points where you had it, and then at other points, it felt pretty tough. Either way, 0 and 1, we'll move on. Go into our next matchup. We have Uxi into Rillaboom. So, we have good options against the Rillaboom. I do want to get rocks down, I think. Is it worth it? Yeah, we'll get our rocks down. He goes into Love Disc, you. I think these guys are all now the Endeavor stuff. Yeah, oh, he goes for whatever. <laughs> we'll just Psyche Noise him. Um, oh, wait. We can just U-turn on this, I think, and prankster him into something. Or actually, maybe Lapras just sets up forever on this, right? Mm -mm. 
We can give her one Dragon Dance. If they go into Ruler Boom, we have switch ins for that. But this thing can't... All it could do is endeavor us. Whirlpool... That doesn't work. I'll go for Freeze right now, see if they I can catch Rillaboom trying to switch in. Unfortunately, no way to actually hit the Rillaboom, honestly. Like, what's the... the things we're boosting, at least. Okay, they're, they're just sitting around. I don't really understand what they're going for here. Like, I'm just gonna keep... as long as Love Disc is sitting in front of me, I can just, um... Yeah, yeah, it can hit me now, but like... To what end? Like, I guess it kind of neutralizes me. Well, either way, Love Disc... will go down now. Being the annoying guy it is. The new Endeavor stuff is actually pretty hard to stop because it's so fast. That's its one, like, decent stat, and it gets to use it fully. So Real Boom has to go for... a Grassy Glide now. So I think we go into Volbeat and get off a T Wave. And we can also keep Lapras as a sack for later. And they just forfeit. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know why that happened. But, uh,. We take them, I guess. One and one. Anyway, uh, after that weird instance, we got Fortress on Arbeliva. Not a great lead matchup, because we can't leech spam this guy. He'll just rapid spin forever. Okay, we... Body Press comes out. We'll just drop a Sacred Fire. It's a pretty free click. Because, I mean... If they don't have a good switch into it, we might just burn something, even. Okay, they had a good switch into it. Oops. But can this thing really take us on? I mean, here's what I'm thinking. We don't have a great switch in, right? It might just be better to Earthquake. Because Earthquake is a 2 at KO. We are slower, unfortunately. They actually just go straight out. Okay, kill a Wash Roll out. I think we can go Ursa Luna on this. Um, if they U-turn, we can at least get the Procker Flame Orb. They do not. Yeah, I don't mind going for a Trailblaze here. I mean, there's no way they stay in with Kill a Wash Roll, right? I really want to go for Headlong. Do they risk kill a watch or a Saluna? I don't think so. Okay, the U turn out. Should be able to get off a good hit here. Fortress comes out. That gets absolutely whacked. We'll just go for it again, I guess. And they go to Chandelier. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? Okay, Chandelier gone. <laughs> Fortress chip. Another forfeit. How do we do how do I do it, folks? How do I convince people without Without saying anything, just to give up. <laughs> um, this is odd. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is really weird. Like, that forfeit, I guess, yeah, I get it, they're like, they made a bad play, they probably tilted. Just throw it away, sure. But the first one, I don't understand that doll. Okay, anyway, we got Brupon versus Reuniclus. Not a great lead. Well, I mean, obviously a terrible lead, actually, but... Looks like our best way to deal with... Brubon's gonna be Zarud. So I'll go into that. And uh, now we have Banded U-Turn. Which... Actually unlikely to kill, but... Kind of forces them out of the way. We go into Dialga. Hmm... Who do you want to go into to hit this? Probably Reuniclus, right? We'll throw in Focus Blast here. I mean, yeah, they can't stay in front of Focus Blast unless they have no consideration for Dialga's value. 
Okay, they go Mewtwo. This will do a little bit of damage, but not nothing great. So, I mean, Zarud feels obvious, but what can Mewtwo can hit with Fire Blast? Potentially has Dark Pulse to hit our Reuniclus. Mm hmm. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, no way they go for Dark Pulse immediately, right? I think I'm going to Calm Mind, see what's going on. And if we can trade with Mewtwo, that's fine. We won't move, actually. Suddenly, this is looking terrible. <laughs> okay, Reuniclus is going to go down here to Dark Pulse. We revenge kill its Inteleon, always. Yeah, we just click Hydro Pump. They can go Brute on it. Oh, they have Polyrath. That's that's bad. Because uh, usually Inteleon is an absolute menace, but with Polyrath around, not so much. Okay, we'll go into a Thunderous here. They circle throw us out. That this sucks. <laughs> Honestly, this thing can spam Circle Throw forever. I guess we just click Ice Beam, maybe go for a free, because otherwise, like, we can't switch out. Because uh, it'll just circle through. Yes, we have to take that. Which is lame. Um, do we go for the Psychic? We're in a bad spot here already. We go for Psychic. Okay, we get Polyreds shipped down. That looks like AV. I'm going to go for rocks now. Yeah, I expect them to have some sort of switch in. Okay, Hydreigon comes out. No good switch in, honestly. I think we just Iron Head. Okay, they go for... We know what they're going for now. Maybe we can go Inteleon on the Fire Blast, I guess. Yeah, I think I'll go Inteleon... Okay, well now we can U-turn out. Uh, if they go for close combat, they go for close combat. No close combat. Get another U-turn off. Okay, Brute Bonnet's gone. Nice. I uh, will just go straight back into Inteleon. Kind of forces Polyroth out. Because I wouldn't think anything else is too keen to take it. Okay, so that must be... That must be Scarf, right? Why else would you switch it on Inteleon? Oh, that does so much damage, dude. I think if, just for the Drake uh, raw. And yeah, that is Scarf. Uh, <laughs> can at least waste another Draco. Yeah, they are still faster, so we'll go into Bronze Long now. I don't think they stay in. I'll go for a Psychic here. Get Hippograph. Nice. And, uh... It's gonna hit us with Knock Off or something. We live any hit here, and we can take Hippograph out. Which is actually huge, because now, um... Now Inteleon's... Possibly cooking. Hydreigon is still a problem because it's faster, but it is going to be taking rocks damage. Okay, well, that is the one way to take us out. Thanks, dude. But at least gives us the opportunity to get in with more Pico, get off an Aura Wheel. Which prevents Hydreigon from coming in. Ah, uh, do we just... Do we... I mean, more Pico is not doing a whole lot here. Like, it sure can have speed... Like Mewtwo. But it needs the Aura Wheel first. I think we just take the damage on Dialga. Yeah, so that will take us out. The uh, the situation is not looking great. Close combat definitely kills. Knockoff, only like a 1 in 3 chance to kill. I would love to be knocking off, but I don't think we can afford to take the damage on Zarud. And Jump Bluff comes out. He's just going to U-turn out. 
Hydreigon comes in, he actually can't kill us here. Unless they crit, of course. Yeah, I can always eat my words. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for a Thunderbolt here. Yes, we... What am I doing? Why, why did I Thunderbolt, man? Why did I think this guy was flying? Fuck you, Iron Jugulus, for making me believe anything. Well, at the very least, this guy's dead. Um, we do speed... Actually, do we want to just get hit wet with Inteleon? That might be not such a bad thing. If we get knocked into torrent range. Not quite. Either way, that's gone. Jump Pluff has to just straight up beat us in a speed tie. And Acrobatics isn't likely kill, I th Oh, but... Hmm... We're actually not as great a spot as I thought. Because uh, Hydro Pump, even with Terra Water, I don't think that kills. But I mean, what else can we do? The Roots gonna get outsped. And whacked by Acrobatics. I think we just have to go for this. Hydro Pump doesn't kill. We do get taken out. I think we lose to Mewtwo now. Oh, uh, we actually just. Well, Jump Cliff is dead. Wait. Wait, did they just throw? Wait. Wait a second. Oh, they just threw. Because Mewtwo dies to knockoff and Jump Puff dies to rocks. Oh my god. That was like the worst move possible. Whoa. Um, okay. Let out of a tricky situation. We'll go for one more here. Jeez, I was not I was not prepared for that. Anyway, we got fairy on fairy action, and that sounds bad. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Forget I said anything ever. I think we just T-wave Screamtail here. I mean, it's so fast that this thing is words T-wave. We don't have any other statuses to hit it with anyway. We do also have the Love Disc, hopefully. If there's something that's particularly problematic, we can just trade with it. Okay, Chimeco comes in. Let's see if we can just, um... Okay, it also T-waves us. Let's just Whirlpool something. If we can catch Chimeco, that'd be good. So our team doesn't do that well into it. Especially since it's able to spam T-wave and Psychic Noise and blah blah blah. Just go for Whirlpool. Keep it simple. So, okay, so Chimeco, Screamtail. Nothing throwing me a lot of offensive pressure yet, though. Okay, so it stays in for Whirlpool time. Um, we get knocked. I don't care. This is the point where we sub and Endeavor. Hopefully Endeavor goes off. If we're lucky, they get paralyzed here. I mean, I'm just going to Endeavor you forever. And they're gonna... Oh. Come on. <laughs> Don't let me end up with a dead love disc. They go to leave Vanny. Um... Okay, they got after Sticky Web. Oh, come on, Love Disc. You could have been behind a sub and gotten another Endeavor off. Oh, you're not even going to kill Ivani. I definitely got the short end of Paralysis there. Um, Ice Cube? Um, yeah, in a bad spot. Can't go in Clouds or Obama Snow. I don't want to risk uh, Maridon either. But it feels a bit early for Ice Q. I think we can... Let me just go Gramble for now and just play rough. It's a strong play rough, so it's not like a bad option, really. Okay, they get the knockoff, which is a little annoying. But we do take out Levani. Man, Love Disc, already a loser mob, but 
when it's unlucky too. A truly worthless guy. Um, can we go into my Muridon here? Perhaps. I mean, it feels pretty obvious they go for like a T-Wave, right? And of course, they can try to second noise after. I think we go right on on the T wave, right? We do have a Specs Electro Drift coming out now. It will live, but it finally gets paralyzed. Okay. I'll consider that. I'll consider us even now between that and the Love Disc incident. Um. So if this thing is like dazzling or play rough. It doesn't kill us. We can take out Screamtail here, which is actually very valuable. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to just get rid of Screamtail. It goes for a Wish, and it's dead. Okay, nice. Walking Woke comes out. I th mm, this thing, if it goes Sunny Day, that's bad news. They know we're going to be like Specs here, I think. But can we just go Granbull and like deal with it anyway. If it specs Hydro Pump, that's bad. Mm hmm Because Clarts are also it looks good with the Dragon Pulse. And they know about Grand Let's go into Clots are here. Actually Draco is Threatening to kill us. Maybe we should have gone into a bomb of snow. Well, but it has it does have the um, flamethrower probably. Yeah, which actually goes for there. So we we catch him over predicting on Clodser and a, another forfeit. How do I do it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably clipping the mic there. But uh. Yeah, we get another forfeit. Good, a four and one on the day. We take that. Up to 2037. I think about another 120 ELO or so, and that's top 500. So we're, we're making real progress today. Three forfeits. You only see that here, folks. Um, if you're still listening, thank you so much for sticking around with my nonsense. Hope you like and subscribe. We're going to begin some real big boy range soon. So hopefully you'll stick around for that. Bye.